Welcome to Luxon Photography. Today I have a video behind the scenes how I edit images using presets and how I import images using Photo Mechanic. So Photo Mechanic is a program that you can use to quickly make your selection of the images you like to edit in Lightroom. So this is the Photo Mechanic overview. On the left side we got the folders on the hard drive. So for example the, the first number for me is the month. This is how I organize my folders. 8 means August 2019. The 6th of August was a wedding. The 8th of August was a wedding, New Year and Chris. 10th of August was a wedding. Then fa family photo shoot, Canon EOS R. Fam uh, couple photo shoot. Then we got the wedding on the 16th. We got the wedding on the 17th. We got a business uh, big uh, event. Another wedding on the 29th and another wedding on the 30th and the Fuji X-T3 and so on. And I can click on one folder and put it into the main area and then I see all the images in the folder. And here I've selected a folder where I photograph myself. Um, I'm probably going to take my hair off completely and so I thought let me just take a couple of images where I have still my hair on. And I, I chose a wedding outfit, so to say. So I have the Hold Fast Money Maker here, which is the belt, where I have two cameras. And I take these images myself with the camera on a tripod and the release control. So I push, while I'm holding these two cameras, I have a small thing in my hand. I push the button, the camera on the tripod takes a picture. So these are all the images from the card. There is, uh, these, you see the numbers here. Um, Oh no, you, you don't see the number, but these are all images from the card. And so I go through these images and whenever I like an image, I click on T and then we got a small uh, signal here, a selection. So you see many of these images look very similar because I always take two or three times the same image. And what you see is the preview of the JPEG file. So if it's in black and white, it's because I chose black and white as the JPEG uh, picture style and you see some are clicked here and some are not clicked and so when I now go to tagged we see only the clicked images and these are the unedited ones straight from the camera the JPEG files this is a quick way to make a selection when you have all your selected images you can click on one click com command A on a Mac and then you have everything selected then you can go to Lightroom click on your library, click import, and then put all the images into the main area and then only your selection is imported, not everything. So here I now have the selection and in this selection we actually get all images in color because the raw files are all in color. So all images here are in color because it's the raw file. This is the unedited, unedited raw image. You see CR3 is the raw file of the Canon EOS RP, photographed with the 85 1.2 at f2.0. Here is the remote in my hand. If I click the button, camera takes a picture. Now, these are the unedited images. How do I edit now these images? Now let's get to my new preset pack. I have it here on the side. There are 47 presets that all look very different. Some are great for portraits, some are great for landscape, some are great for cityscape. And if I click on one image, like on blue, you see the preset on the image. If I now select the next 20 images, just like this, click on synchronize, choose everything. So the surface here is all in German, but I use the English word. So now what you see down here is all images that come after this one will now be in the same look that I chose, which is the blue preset. This is a way to quickly edit images in the same look so the images have the same look now if I say well I don't like the look let me chase let me choose another one so let's go to let's take a black and white one let's go to black and white 3 I still have my selection I go to synchronize everything synchronize and now what happens all images will be in black and white in the preset that I just chose. This way I can super quickly edit images because very often I don't have to do anything else. This image, I leave it as it is. Sometimes I make the image brighter or darker, but this image to me is really nice. It's a really nice black and white. I took it super quick, super fast, and it's a really great way 
it's a really great workflow to use presets. If I want a color image, I can go to Coloria. Let me synchronize everything again. Down here, you now see all other images will now get the same look. And this is the way that I edit and I have now for the first time, uh, the, I give you now the possibility to get all these presets. You can buy them from my website, dirksonphotography.com. I put the link in the description below if this is interesting for you. I just show you how quickly it is. Sometimes you just have to make it brighter or darker just here, but everything else is fine. Let's go to another section of images. Let's just, let's just take a look. So, So I took all these images myself and I wanted to have images of me as I usually am on a wedding. So this suit I usually wear on a wedding. So let's for example, let's get to these images here. Maybe, maybe here. So this is the unedited one. You see here is nothing changed. It's the raw file. I now go to my left side and whenever I scroll over a name, you see on the image what would happen to the image. So let's just check a couple of these presets out. You see, for example, this one doesn't work for portraits, but it's really nice for uh, landscape. So let's just choose, um, let's just see. So you get a nice overview, right? Now let's, this one, let's choose Valeria. I now got this image edited just by one click. I now go down here and select all images to the end of the folder, so synchronize everything. What now happens is, First off, Lightroom takes some time to edit it all here. And down here you can now see that every image will have the same look that I chose, which is the Valeria preset. And this is the way that I edit all my images and I take 80,000 images a month or more in summer. It's less in winter, but in summer with all the weddings, it's 80,000 a month, taking images and editing them and this is the way I do it. I got the images, I select the preset that I like and I can make it brighter or darker and the only thing I need to do now is to actually maybe straighten up the image. I took these images from a tripod um, but it's, it's not always necessary to change anything at all. I can leave it as it is. I can choose another preset, maybe Heaven Up Synchronize everything again and just wait a couple of seconds until Lightroom has edited everything and now I go through the images again and I have a very different look. I can do this a couple of times and save the images in different looks. I can also edit an image like this in this look and then the same image in another look and send the couple or the company who I'm working with both looks and ask them which look do you prefer, which look do you like more, so I edit it in the way you, you like it more. I don't do that, but you could do that. Or let's choose another one, this is Coloria. I like it warm, so many of these styles are warm. Again, I synchronize everything, it's just one click, Lightroom does it all by itself. Now all images here will now have the new look, the Coloria. It's a super quick way to get final images that look like they are from the same session, taken by the same photographer at the same day. It's all a series that has the same look to it and it's super easy done. And sometimes I just need to brighten up the image now all these images here are, are darker, so what I now do is I take a selection from this image that I that you see here, maybe to this one, synchronize again, so all these images will be brighter. Look, this is the image, super quickly, I haven't done anything, only thing I did was I chose a preset and maybe I brighten up the image a little bit. And you can decide which, which look you like more. I put the link to the preset pack in the description below. Um, these are 47 presets for you and this is how quickly and easy you can use these presets on any image, anywhere. 
And this is what you get with it just with a couple of clicks and you can edit thousands of images in one single day. This is the way I do it. Thank you very much.